My name's Romy, um, I'm an interior designer, I'm almost 40. About three years ago, Martin found a lump and that was the first time that it really came knocking on our door. My late grandmother did pass away from breast cancer, but we just thought that was a one-off thing. And I actually had said to Martin, would it be worth you getting tested? And it was about a week later that she found the lump through a routine mammogram. And that's when it all really began. Mum was confirmed BRCA2 positive. So her oncologist set us down and suggested that my sister, my brother and I also get tested for the gene. I feel like I mentally prepared myself for the, for the worst. I didn't realise that a simple blood test was the way of finding out whether you carry the same gene and that's how we, we found out that I carry the gene as my sister does as well and my brother doesn't. The first thing that comes to mind is shock. It was very hard for me. At first I didn't even know what that was but I kind of grew with the process. There were a lot of big decisions that needed to be made and a mastectomy being one of them. It was difficult to comprehend that I was going to have to undergo major surgery and losing my breasts was a really big thing. At the same token, I definitely felt that modern medicine had given me a gift, a gift of, of choice, and I was crazy not to take it. It was really, really tough and brave of her and really scary, but yeah, I'm really proud of her for doing it. I definitely had the support of people around me to, to make it feel like it was, it was possible. It certainly has given me a lot of mental freedom. I used to constantly think, you know, what's that pain? Could it be me? When's it my time? But I don't think like that anymore and um, I don't think you can put a price on having that mental freedom. I would absolutely encourage Maya to be tested when she's older. Absolutely. Please donate to BCNA to support Australians affected by breast cancer.